Action. What? Now that you know, what's up? What are you? Are you naked to cover? Go fresh it. Ah! You know what you are? You are just a lifesaver. Uh, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Alright, let's go. Three, two, one, and... When you hear Dago, that is action. <laughs> oh yeah, Dago. The reckless. Becky, we could, we could do that anyhow. Anyhow sounds like no help to me. Okay. We could do it physical or otherwise. English news. Becky. Becky. The, the reckless. That was a cut. <laughs> Okay, uh, you're welcome back. That was actually behind the scene from uh, somewhere down the line. Uh, is one of Nigeria's finest. She's actually coming from PHC, I mean Port City. Now, this young and creative Nigerian was actually born, buttered, nurtured, and she's doing a lot for Nigeria. Now, from the primary, secondary, and tertiary education, all in PHC, and you might be wondering, but uh, information reaching us on the program is that she's been around here in Lagos for three good years and she's now waxing strong and that's the idea. We have only bought one country, Nigeria. So uh, on the show, I'd like to welcome Samara Etebo. How are hey, you doing? Hey, I'm fine. Yes. Good to have you here. Yeah, same here. Um, <laughs> we just saw a behind the scene. But before we dwell on that, I would like to ask, is it because you did theater art that you are doing what you're doing very well now and the future is actually looking very, very bright for you? Please tell us. Um, aside from me studying theater arts in school, okay. I've always wanted to be an actress. I've oh. always loved entertainment. Yeah. So going into theater arts was just more like equipping my skills. Okay. You understand? So I, I actually started from dancing to oh, singing. Oh, you dance? Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> okay. I don't want to take it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I started from dancing to singing and then acting, you know. Let me take it one step at a time. Dancing, singing. Don't tell me your, your own singing part of you to started in the church. What we have from virtually every Nigerian. It, it Are you going to toe down like, come on. <laughs> I was part of the choir. Oh, church. you were part of the choir. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, I actually came from a family of musicians. My parents were actually oh. in the choir as well. You oh, know? awesome. So it was more like her hereditary. Okay. From my parents, all the children, we joined the choir. Yeah, adrenaline well. is actually running yeah. through. Yeah. And then my, my immediate elder brother, who's late, may he so rest in peace. Oh. He, he was a producer. Very. You know, he, he actually taught me into going into music professionally. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Then where does the dance come from, please? I've always loved Shakira. Like okay. I said, I love entertainment right. generally, you right. know, so I, from her whenever days, you know, I've always watched her, watched her music, watched the way she moved her body and I rehearse at home, you oh, know. Oh, staring at <laughs> no, the no, mirror. No, no, don't tell me not to, to no, do that. No, no, you, you ain't going to do that. You ain't going to do that. Okay, okay. <laughs> Let, let's find out. Let's find out what, what you do presently. Okay. Uh, let's see the torch of your tertiary education studying theater art as a discipline in what you do now please tell us uh in school i, w I won't deny the fact that I, I got myself involved in social activities okay you know dramas presentations and all of that i did that yes while i was in school so i already knew what i wanted oh from tertiary education you know i already understood myself like all right i wasn't going to be a doctor i wasn't going to be a nurse or anything on that path it was okay. art for me you okay. know so going into the university was more like like i said equipping it oh that's awesome now i, I would like to ask you what we just saw somewhere down the line now our wonderful viewers will actually see you as eliza and Beth, Elizabeth, but seated here is Tamara Eteimo. <laughs> Split personality, that's what it is. Yeah. T tell us what actually, uh, I don't want to say what prompts the, the movie, okay. but I sure know you should have some inclination for writing. Do you write? Do you script? Uh, 
I've not started professionally. Okay. I do it, yes, as part of my leisure. Oh. Okay, but it's not professional. But somewhere down the line, the story, you know, sometimes when I tell people about this story, it's amazing. Okay. I was on my way from a location with a director. Her name is Mrs. Pat Ogri Imobio. All right. And we talked about the surrogacy story. You know, when I heard it, I, I just told myself, why don't I do something like this? Okay. It caught me, you know. And after I spoke with her, I talked to a friend who is also my boss, Mr. Shala Fajibi, the owner of Next Movie Star, you know, and he, he bought the idea. He said, why don't we do it? All right. You know, so we decided to develop the story. And then I consulted um, a, a hospital in front of my house. Okay. A fertility clinic. Oh. You know, and all the information. Oh, I those needed. are the shots we saw on that particular. Yeah. You yeah. Know, behind all the, the shots stuff. I needed. They, they gave it to me, you know, so that was how somewhere down the line came about. Okay. Let's dwell more on what the message is okay. for the Nigerian populace, because, um, uh, recently, there, there have been a lot of uh, talks about what is coming on from Nollywood. You understand that. So, yeah. and if this has something top-notch for the society, let's let's hear from you. This is actually different, I must say. It's th the story is about surrogacy. All right. It's different. Yes, okay. we we all know what surrogacy means, but right. it's rare in this part of the world. You know, mm -hmm. we don't really delve into it. We do actually, but not everyone wants to come out and agree to that that okay. they do it. You know. So this film is, is more like educating people to not be ashamed. Go to, if you have issues with your womb, you could get a surrogate mother to help you bear your child. Okay. She's not the mother of the child. She just helped you carry the, the, the baby, you know, and there's no relationship between the surrogate mother and the child. The child belongs to you okay. who owns the egg and your husband owns the sperm. All right. You know, so that's what we need to educate people about. Yes, yeah, something happened somewhere down the line. Okay. You know, that's for entertainment purpose. Okay. But the most important thing, the theme of the story is surrogacy. Oh. You know, we should be accepted in this part of the world. Now, I, I don't want to say you're championing the cause for women, but that's what, <laughs> it, that, that's what it is. That's what it is. I, I, I sincerely, I, I really like the fact that some people like you in the industry is beginning to think in this particular direction. Yeah. But moving forward, Let's have some of the highlights from your own standpoint now. Things that people that graced it, some of the cast you, you would like to share, their impact on the movie, please. First and foremost, Auntie Buki Wright, she, she's an amazing person. You know, on set, she didn't only, she played my mother, but she, out of the character, she also gave me a motherly advice. Oh. She, she helped me a lot. Okay. And then my father, Yemi Black, he helped me so much. We, we agreed on a particular time and day, right. but he gave me extra days. Wow. You know, he's, he told me, said, I won't do it for everybody, but I'm doing it for you. Okay. I really, I really, really appreciate everything they did for me. Okay. And Mr. Yinka Ayelokun, hmm. um, Alex Mouth, the director, he's, okay. he's one director that a lot of people should really give an opportunity. He's really good. All right. He's really, really good. Oh, that's awesome. You know, then Mary Lazarus, she's my friend you know but aside from you know aside from being a friend that there, there are times when one is tense and you might say some things that you don't really mean when one is tense <laughs> right that is how we're going to go for the break now um <laughs> let's go for the trailer of this particular interesting movie when we come back let her tell us how she doubled eliza and bet we'll be right back do you know ben and mary had the naming ceremony of their child today After a successful implantation, during the IVF operation, the baby was discovered to be growing out of the womb. As far as my intuition is concerned, that way is like a fish under the bridge. Hi, Mom. Hello, madam. <laughs> Darling, mm. your daughter says she wants to stay here for you to come. Is that true? Yes, it is. Becky, mm -hmm. what do you think about this? I'll count myself lucky to shake the hands of the President of America. Uh-huh. Really? How could carry all that money when you send me? Take all of them and enter aeroplane like that. So I can go find one good boss with his speed like aeroplane then. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out! Watch out, watch out. Ah! Don't ever think of it. Don't let it cross your mind at all. I can do it. I can do it. He's 
Instagram or anywhere, Facebook, anyone wants to, I won't blow. All right, uh, that trailer is courtesy one of Nigeria's finest here in the studio with us, and it's titled, the movie itself is titled Somewhere Down the Line, and surrogacy is actually the center message for that. And I want to believe Nigerian women are beginning to see a lot from that particular aspect. So before we get into the other divide of it, let's continue with Tamara Etimo. I like pronouncing that name so that it sinks, but let's, let's hit it now really hard. What is the strategy? to get Nigerians view this. Now, we understand that with such a movie, you actually need to educate the Nigerian public, apart from when it gets to the market where we can pick it up off the rack as a DVD. Okay. What are the strategies? Let's hear you talk about it. Um, I already premiered this film in Silverbird Cinemas. That was last month. And by God's grace, I'm also going to premiere in Bielsa. You know, we're still keeping our fingers crossed. I'm okay. positive about it. Yeah. And we'll screen in different schools you know, University of Lagos. Of course, University of Portacot is part of it because I graduated from there. Okay. <laughs> you know, and we're looking at UI, <coughs> then NDU, you know, after the screening, then it hits the market. Okay, that's actually awesome. I, I'm, I'm just going to ask you some of the challenges you guys encountered in the process of trying to bring this to the fore. Let's have you talk about it. Uh, it, it, wasn't, it wasn't an easy one, I must say, because I, it's my first, you know, this is more like me being a baby producer in the industry. Okay. This is my first, and being the first, I had to play two characters. So wow. it's like doing three people's job, okay. you know, just one person. It's, it, it, it was educating for me, because I learned a lot, All right. you know, and I got to understand people, you know, I always go to locations, and once my, my, my job is done, I just go. Okay. But I was there from the beginning not just to the end of the shoot, post-production, post -production. you know, it wasn't easy. But like I said, it's a learning process for me. Okay, let's just talk about uh, some of the gadgets that actually came into play. Now, there is a high demand in terms of content that people view and um, in terms of the camera qualities and the rest. What do you think? Are you going to say to us here that it was top-notch? Yeah, it was. We actually used a Canon uh, a 3D, so Mark III, oh. you know, so... We tried our best. Obviously, it's beautiful. Now, let's, let's <laughs> hit the generic question, which is going to be uh, what the Nigerian producers are doing lately. Meeting up international standard in our movies. We're having our actors and actresses actually feature in international movies. I don't want to start enumerating how many of them, but where do you see the future of this particular industry in the next few years? Um, we're evolving. Really, we are. Because uh, we... we, we Okay, I won't say we're getting, we're in the nominations of Oscar, but by God's grace, we should be. Okay. You know, because a lot of us, uh, eyes are there. All right. You know, and our stories, we're, we're developing. We're bringing out those stories we know we have. We have a lot of stories. Africans, we're blessed. All right. You know, we've left those normal stories where the father doesn't like this family and the, this boy wants to marry this one. You know, we've left all of that. We're coming okay. into different, different, bringing out great stories we have. You okay. know, so we're evolving. And of course... We're going to get there. Okay, that's the idea for us, but I, I just want you to now take some time to leave a few words for uh, the wonderful fans of Tamara Etimo as an individual, then Elise and Beth. <laughs> okay, um, Somewhere Down the Line is here to stay, and I bet you, you will enjoy this movie. Um, I love you all so much, sincerely, I really do, and I hope you really see this movie. It's my first. I need you to judge me. Come and criticize me so I can get better. Hmm. Yeah. That's it. So that means we're going to be seeing more of it on, on, on the screen very soon. But for us on, on the program, we just want to encourage you because we understand that uh, uh, it, it, it's, it's not that easy because we're not going into details now. If we're doing that, maybe we would have had more. But for, for, the, for the want of time and the contest of the program, we just want to encourage you to keep on doing that. However, um, Portacourt is going to be seeing the movie. That is University of Portacourt, yeah. right? Uh, University of Lagos. Yeah. You want to enumerate some other one? Um... By Elsa, okay. by God's grace, is going to be premiered. The one here in Lagos was premiered, uh, was sponsored by Procter and Gamble, P and G. Okay. You know, so by God's grace, we're going to get another sponsor here in Bielsa State. Okay. <laughs> you know, so our premiere in Bielsa. All right.